What's up guys, Luke here from Luke's Points and Miles. And today we're gonna to try to figure out if this American Express green card is criminally underrated or is it just a rare Amex flop? If you are new to the channel, I talk about credit cards, points, miles, cash back and travel. If that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. And if you get any value or entertainment from this video specifically, slap that like button for me and the YouTube algorithm. This video is gonna be in three parts. First, I'll do a quick review of the card. Next, I'm gonna be going over what I really like about the card and who it would be good for. And finally, I'll go over some of the cons and what I don't like about this card. My plan is to give you guys a fair assessment and for you to be able to better understand if this card could be for you. If you do want to apply for the card, I will leave a link in the description that you can use if you want to support the channel. And with all that out of the way, we'll go ahead and get started. What's the sexiest and most interesting part of cards these days? Ah, yes. The sign up bonus. The Amex Green currently comes with a 40,000 MR point bonus for spending just $3,000 in three months. That's pretty doable. Real quick, guys, I want you to say Amex out loud along with me. Amex. See, it's short for American Express. Am I the only one that cringes a little inside when I hear folks pronouncing it Amex, like A, American Express. Come on, am I the only one? Am I the only one? So we'll talk, <laughs> besides that, we'll talk a little bit more about the bonus later, but the card also comes with an annual fee of $150. Before we talk about how we can mitigate that fee, let's talk about everyone's second favorite part about credit cards, the earning rates. This card is gonna earn you three times on the following categories, and be patient, there are a lot of them. Three times on travel, now let me take a breath. This includes airfare, hotels, tours, campgrounds, car rentals, vacation rentals, and more. The card also earns three times on transit, which includes trains, taxi cabs, ride shares, ferries, tolls, parking, and subways. The card also earns three times on dining worldwide, and that includes takeout, and delivery within the US. I have no clue why they separated that, but okay, Amex, Amex. <laughs> and don't forget the one times on everything else. Lots of stuff here. So back to trying to mitigate that $100 annual fee. The card has been through a few variations with this, but right now it seems the card only comes with one credit, and that is a $199 clear credit. Right now it looks like clear memberships for one person is $199 a year, but there are so many different discounts, you might be able to save a little bit there. So continuing on with the travel category earnings, you'll basically get a clear membership as well. We'll talk about this credit a little more later. Card does have some protections, such as trip delay insurance and baggage insurance, and it comes with some benefits we do sometimes forget, like the shop runner membership, extended warranty and purchase protections. But the only other benefit worth mentioning is the Amex offers, which a lot of very smart folks agree that there can be tremendous value there. Speaking of a way to add a little extra earnings to our spend, let's pause for a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Kudos. Stop using tools like Rakuten, Capital One Shopping and Credit Karma, and just use Kudos. Kudos is a free AI powered browser extension it helps you earn more credit card rewards and benefits when you shop online. Kudos is kind of like Honey, NerdWallet, and Apple Pay all in one. For example, Kudos is like Honey, but better. Kudos will help you pick the best card to use at over 3 million stores to guarantee that you always earn the highest rewards, points, or cash back. Kudos is like NerdWallet, but easier. With Kudos' exclusive partnership with the Points Guy, you can discover new credit cards and get access to the best welcome bonuses available. And finally, Kudos is like Apple Pay. With Kudos, you never have to fill out your credit card info ever again. Just select the card that you wanna use and Kudos will autofill your card info with just one click. And the best part, Kudos is totally free. So if you're ready to start earning more credit card rewards, points, and cash back, click the link below and sign up with code LUKE to get $20 back after your first eligible purchase. Guys, get more out of your credit cards with kudos. So that is about it with the green card, guys. Fairly simple for an American Express product. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? 
Well, let me first note the pros of this card in my opinion. Now guys, this is obviously my opinion, so yours might be different. I actually enjoy the fact that this card has just one credit and it's yearly and I can do it automatically. Have we all just accepted that there is at least a small fee to carry a full service travel card with transfer partners? Most of us have, so it will really depend on how you value that clear membership and if you think the card is worth $150. I personally like using clear, but I'm not going to value it at almost $200. Maybe half that if I'm traveling 10 times or so a year. But now that I think about it, if that clear line saves me once from a catastrophic event, then maybe I could value it higher. Your mileage may vary, but I'm super happy there aren't monthly spending requirements with some kind of reservation service attached to this card yet. The next thing are the earning rates. If you are in the Amex ecosystem, this one covers a lot of ground, like parking, tolls, and trains. We forget about those a lot of times. And I also think if you are a free agent and you're staying at Airbnbs, or if you're a cruiser, that three times MR points is pretty clutch. I think this card is a great example of a starter travel card with Amex. If you're already an Amex customer, you can expect to not incur a hard inquiry on your credit report, and there are plenty of upgrade opportunities in the future, which could be very valuable, especially in the late game. Amex offers are something we already mentioned, and yes, if you follow these closely, you can get more value than that annual fee each year easily. And I will close out the pros with this. I think this is a super card for those of you that live in metropolitan areas and tend to spend on those transit categories and ride shares. For me personally, I live in a suburban village environment, so those are not gonna be as beneficial, but if you're a big city person, very good card. So this card does do a lot for not much work, and it really shines in a smaller setup. What about some cons? Sure, this card is not perfect. In my opinion, $150 is very expensive for this card, which looks more like a $99 card. Is that a big difference? I guess it depends on your income and spend level. I know a lot of folks that would insist that $150 is a fair price to pay for Amex transfer partners and Amex customer service. It's tough to argue that in a low annual fee setup. I also think that bonus is not at all competitive. We bash issuers for coming in with a 60,000 point bonus on their $95 cards. I think this card really needs to step it up in this area. I would expect 90 to 100,000 points for a bonus on this card, 75,000 at the very least. So 40,000, this is chump change in this current market. We can't mention Amex cards without mentioning the challenges of acceptance. Your vet won't take it and neither will the local Chinese restaurant. A lot of smaller merchants overseas will ask you to use something else or just refuse Amex. So there is that. But that is also something we have learned to live with. So that's the good, the bad, and the ugly. Do I recommend the Amex green card? Well, I think for a lot of folks, it will work out better for them than the more expensive Amex offers. That actually require exponentially more work to optimize. I don't currently have this card, but I have had it in the past, and I'm strongly consider getting it again someday because I think this current version could be worth it for me. At the very least, I think this is worth a shot if you fit the criteria talked about earlier, but I'm also at least a part-time fan of American Express cards in general. And here's a reminder, shameless plug, if you want to give this card a ride, I will leave a link in the description below. And guys, if you have stayed around all the way to the end, I really appreciate it and I wanna thank every single one of you.